just yesterday, we were talking about a dev and alternative called AutoDev. But the problem with AutoDev was that it was very hard to access. For the average AI user, it would be quite difficult as it would require you to have some sort of coding knowledge to get started with it. There's no easy accessible UI and it's kind of hard for you to utilize the AI agents because of that. This is where I would like to introduce Devika. Devika is a new open source alternative to Devon. It's replicating the job as an AI software engineer that can understand high level human instructions, break them down into steps, research relevant information, and write code to achieve the given objective. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase how you're able to create a game of life game in Python using Pygame. Now, this task is quite difficult for any AI agent to accomplish, but Devika was actually able to accomplish it. Just take a look. So we first start off with the prompt that is given to Devika, which is implement a Conway's game of life in Python using Pygame. And then Devika responds back by stating that I'm happy to provide a step-by-step -step plan to implement the Conway's game of life using Pygame. Let me outline the key steps to accomplish this task. So it then notes down the couple of steps that are required. It first researches and understand the rules of the game. It sets up the Pygame environment to create the game window, implements the data structure. It then works on writing the logic and then we can see that it renders the game grid on Pygames window and it implements the user controls as visual enhancements, tests the game thoroughly, and then documents the code and creates a readme file to explain the project. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it also states that I am browsing the web to research the following queries, Conway's game of life rules, Pygame library documentation. If I need anything, I'll make sure that you can ask it. And just looking at this UI, you can clearly see that it's quite similar to Devon. It has that panel where you can chat, it has the code on the bottom, and it has the implementation of the game. You simply then run the game and you can see that it's starting up. And this was actually a prompt that was given to Devin, and I'm going to showcase this prompt right after this clip. Now, if we are to take a look at the Cognition's demo videos of Demon, they've actually made a demo video on the game of life. And they basically showcase that they've used the same prompt as they did with Devika, and it was able to generate the game afterwards at the end. And we can see that Devika was actually able to do the exact same thing, use the same prompt, and it was able to generate that game within a couple of seconds using Pygame. And it's just great to see that we now have an accessible UI as an alternative to Devon, and it's quite useful in my opinion and i truly believe that you should definitely check this out as we take a look at it throughout today's video we're going to explain the capabilities of it take a look at how you can install it and so much more so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight to it Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Devika, which is an alternative or an open source solution to Devon. Now, if you haven't seen Devon, it's basically the first AI software engineer. But in this case, we now have Devika, which is an alternative to that. And it's an AI software engineer that's designed to understand complex human instructions. It's able to break them down into manageable steps, conduct relevant research, generate code to achieve specific goals, and so much more. It can combine large language models, planning algorithms, as well as web browsing abilities to intelligently develop software. Now, one cool thing I want to note is that they basically stated that Devika is modeled after Devon, which is by Cognition Labs. Now, if you haven't seen my video on this, I truly recommend that you do, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. But this project is basically aiming to be an open source alternative to Devon. And they basically stated that they're trying to get the same score as Devon in the SWE bench, which is a benchmark which assesses different language models in terms of 
how they resolve real world GitHub issues, as well as just general issues. And we can see that Devin was actually able to surpass ChatGPT4, as well as many other large language models in that category. And now we see Devika is the new open source solution that is trying its best to get on par with Devin as well as surpassing it. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Some cool features are that it's able to have advanced AI planning and reason capabilities, which is allowing it to tackle complex coding tasks. You have the ability for contextual keywords, which basically means that it's able to extract in focus research, ensuring that there's relevant information that's gathered. You have seamless web browsing, and that's going to allow for gathering necessary data from online sources. You have code writing in multiple programming languages, which is really cool, and it will allow you to adapt to different project requirements. You have dynamic agent state which is tracking and visualizing in different aids in monitoring progress. You have natural language interactions via chat interface, which is the interface we saw. You have a project-based organization and management system in the back end, which is focusing on efficiently utilizing the Devika interface. And lastly, you have the extensible architecture for adding new features and integration because it's an open source project. And we can see that this is like having an AI coding partner that can understand what you really want, find information that is needed and write the code for you. It makes software development faster and more efficient as I truly believe that this is a tool that will help you as an open source tool that can definitely be built upon further, but it's something that will help you create the prototype for your software and even create, I would say not production grade, but it would be able to slowly but surely get to that stage. Now let's showcase how you can actually get started. I'm going to be showcasing how you can install it. So first things first, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled. You need to make sure that you have Git. This is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Next, you will need a programming language, which is Python. This is something that's necessary for having this running. So once you have those two things running or installed, I would say, you can then copy this command over here, go into your command prompt. This is for Windows, obviously, but once you are here, you can then simply paste that code in, click enter, and this will start cloning Devika. Once it has finished cloning, you can then simply just copy this, which is to navigate into the project directory. So once this has finished cloning, you can then paste it in, go into this directory of Devika's folder. You can then install the dependencies by copying this code and pasting it in. And this will take a couple of seconds to a couple minutes. And once it's finished, I'll be right back. So while this is installing, what you can do is head over to the configuration section. And they basically said that you need to make sure that you have the necessary APIs to have this application functional. So you can click on this and it'll take you to the section. And they basically state that Devika requires certain configuration settings and API keys to function properly. You can go into the config.tom L file and it's quite easy to get there. I'm going to be showcasing this. You're going to need an ID. So in this case, if you have Visual Studio Code, it'll be a little bit easier. So what you can do is just open up Visual Studio Code. Once that is finished opening up, I can have this fully loaded. And what we're going to do is open the folder up of where we cloned Devika. So once that's finished installing, which we see it's installed now, you can then go over and open the folder up. So I'm going to find it quickly in my folder. Sorry guys, I'm blind. And once you have opened that up, you can trust the authors at your own discretion. And then you can go to the config.toml file. And this is where you're going to be setting the different API keys. So read through these APIs that you want to include. So if you're going to be using the open AI API key for your large language model for accessing the GPT models, you should import that over here. If you're going to be using Anthropics API for accessing the cloud models, you would then require their key and you would do the same thing for the following APIs that you're going to be using. So through this, once you have set it, we can then proceed forward with the next step. Now, once you have set your API keys, you can then start the Devika server and you can just copy this code and paste it into your command prompt. So what you can do now is make sure you paste this in. You can then start the server up. Then you simply just need to compile and run the UI and you're going to be able to have the front end and back end running for this application. And you're going to be able to generate various sorts of things with it. Now, something to note, guys, is that this is the developer behind this project. And he's basically stated that he rushed to create this project in like 20 hours in three days. And the code quality isn't the best because of that. But this is something that he just created out of a joke. And I assume that now that this video will bring in more users for his project, 
I hope that he continuously works on improving it and evolving it because this is definitely a really good open source alternative. Obviously, it still needs a lot of work, but it's a great start. And I truly believe that this is something that would be useful for a lot of people. And it's just making AI agents more accessible with this UI. So this is something that I truly recommend that you get started with and take a look at it with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. So with that thought, guys, make sure you check out all these links. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai subscriptions that you can get completely for free make sure you follow us on twitter if you haven't already this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas